name is Aishwarya Chakilam and here I am with Professor Leslie Wilcox. He is the Director of Outsourcing and the Editor-in-Chief for the Journal of Information Technology. He's the Professor for Technology, Work and Globalization and that actually means that how technology is affecting work in the context of globalization. So sir, please tell us the story behind your long name the title which has been given to you and what has been the turning point during this process of discovery? Well I first got involved in technology in about 1979 I soon discovered that when it went into organizations strange things happened um, and so I've been a student if you like of uh, work organizations and how they use and abuse technology. More recently around about when I joined London School of Economics, it became ob to me, obvious to me that you could not understand technology and work without understanding globalization processes, to which technology has been uh, a great uh, lever, has been a great uh, influence. So this led me into looking at designing a program called Global Business Management, which increasingly since 2006 has really been influenced greatly by digitization as management has become more and more digitized and so what we trace there is global business management how uh, business operates in different parts of the world but how it's massively influenced by technology as it moves towards digital business would you also tell us a little about the challenges that you've actually encountered in this process of transferring knowledge from you to the students out there? The biggest challenge is quite simply overwhelming amount of information and the speed of change. Studying the globe and business on the globe and developments in technology, you've got three things happening at the same time. Week to week, this is what makes the course particularly exciting, we have a changed environment a changed set of technologies, a changed set of issues as far as management is concerned. So we're constantly discovering new things week by week on this course, which is why I really love uh, being involved in it and I find the students are heavily involved in it too. And they bring a lot to bear because they come from all sorts of different countries and so we get different perspectives and different uh, experiences to feed into the process of trying to understand what is actually happening now. Yeah. That's really interesting and I would also want to add that the reason for doing this quick questionnaire or you know to talk to you is to also put forward your views to the perspective students or people who are actually watching this and is there one key takeaway you would just want to give by the end of this video? Well yes, that technology has no value whatsoever unless it, it optimizes how you do work mm -hmm. and you can't understand work and you can't manage these days unless you understand globalization processes and in, at the moment deglobalization processes because once again the the, the clock has ticked and uh, where we were accelerating in the process of accelerating globalization we're now getting a, 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 a uh, a reversal of that to some extent, a deglobalization trend at the moment. So that's been interesting to discover this year uh, as well. So the, the, the takeaway is all these three things are absolutely critical and interconnected. Do you think that the work you've done so far in terms of globalization, you're saying that's going to be like a reversal right now. So do you think it's going to take as much effort to try and understand the graph of deglobalization? Um, what is interesting is how far it's going to go. Uh, I mean, for example, if you take the United Kingdom, which is just one example, attempting to do Brexit, you know, that's breaking away from the European Union, but ironically, they have to then join the rest of the world in order to trade properly. So in deglobalizing at one level, getting out of one regional arrangement, they now have to join the rest of the world in re-globalize. And I think virtually every country faces the same prospect. If you look at the USA, they talk about protectionism, but they, they can't trade globally and be the world's number one uh, trade leader if they're not globalizing and supporting a lot of those trends. So it's very interesting, uh, complex and very often paradoxical uh, situations that you're going to get yourself into in the future. Very riveting to watch. Thank you so much. It was really a pleasure 
for everybody watching this for me talking to you it's been amazing 